Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going over the contact tab inside the MyTel My Voice Connect software. So stick around and we'll jump right in. Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna go over one of the most used features in the Connect software, the contacts tab. We're gonna show you how you can create favorites, how you can create groups, what you can do with those groups and those favorites, different ways to actually work with individual records, and how these can be used in both a high volume and a low volume setting. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in my computer and let's get to it. All right, everybody, welcome inside my computer. And today, again, we're gonna go over the contacts tab inside the Mitel Connect software. So I've got it pulled up right here. So the, the tab we're gonna go over here is the contacts tab. Also, if this is minimized, this is what it's gonna look like and you're just gonna select this little book here. So go ahead and open this up and go into contacts. So you'll see that the contacts here have two tabs, the favorites and the groups. We're gonna go over both of these, but first I wanna show you how to add them into the favorites um, because most people open this up and think that, hey, where are all my contacts? I know there's more people than one that work at my company. So if you wanna look at your enterprise directory, which is where all of your contacts are stored, you're actually gonna go up here where it says name or number, and you're gonna open this up just by clicking inside of it. Now when you open this up, it, you can search here using either the name or number, and this is first or last name, or you can scroll down to the person you're looking for. So let's say I want to add demo2 to my favorites. The only thing I actually need to do is go over here where this star is and select this star. As soon as I've done that, we'll go back into our contacts and you can see that it's installed inside of my favorites tab. So. Each one of these, you can see that um, a couple things is right here where it says DO. This is where if they had uploaded their picture, their picture would actually display here. So demo one is the name, first name is demo, last name is one. Below this, is it says available. So if I hover over this, I can see it says available, I am offline. So what that means is basically the phone is available for a phone call but the instant messaging application is not logged in at the moment. Right over here to the right, I can see the extension number. Uh, just know that this is a clickable um, box. So if I actually click this, it's going to pick up my phone and it will start dialing the number. So that's something just to keep in mind overall with the Connect software. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up one of these contacts. So demo one, gonna go ahead and open this up. And this is what you'll see here. So you'll see that it's got some information up at the top. Um, this is a share screen um, option. This is again where that picture would be if they uploaded it. If there is no uploads, it is just the initials. You could also add or remove people from contacts by clicking on this star right here. And if you wanna call the person, all you need to do is click this green button. Below this is the name and the extension number of the person, and below that is their availability state. So one thing you'll see with this where it says available, if you watch, I'm gonna go ahead and dial from that phone to show you what it looks like when somebody is dialing. So I have that number, it's actually dialing in. You can see that it says incoming call. And now if I go ahead and just send that to voicemail, I'm no longer on the call, but you can see that demo one says available on the phone. Now one thing I'm gonna do really quickly while I'm in here is I'm gonna hit this button where I can see what information is. But if I right click on this demo one over here and I say alert when available, I wanna show you what happens when I actually hang up that phone. So they're still leaving a message and I really need to talk to demo one. What's gonna happen is they're gonna hang up after the message is done. And because I was leaving myself a message, you can see that the message shows up. But more importantly, over here on the left, that alert when available has let me know that this person became available at 138. So if somebody's on the phone and you need to talk to them, you can just right click their name and hit alert when available. And this will happen once they hang up. So if I wanted to call them back, all I would do is hit that green button. So going back into here, I'm going to show you these other options. This first one is the video camera. If you do have video calling enabled on your account, this is how you would pull it up. 
if you would like to add a participant to a conference call, so say you are on a call with somebody and you want to add demo one to hit that call, all you do is click this button and that would add that participant. You can also transfer to this person. So if you have a call coming in and you want to pull up demo one and you want to transfer it to that person, you can just click this button. These other options to say more, this will pull up other information. So dial mailbox. This is useful if you do check somebody else's voicemail for them. So if I click dial mailbox, what it's going to do is call into the system as them. And if you know their voicemail password, you can actually listen to their voicemails and um, man manage them just like you would if you were walking up to their phone. Sending a voicemail, what that does is allow you to record a voicemail and send it to their account without their phone ever ringing, it'll just show up on their phone as a uh, available voicemail. Alert when available, we already went over that, but that lets you know when that person becomes available if they are in an unavailable state. And call with account code. So if you have account codes set up, you can actually call this person using the account code. So that's just a uh, kind of a management feature to uh, track calls and what they are used for. So going into the tabs, info. So whatever is listed inside of the administrator account is what is going to display here. So like in this, it just says extension 1315 email, and it has the email for this account. It also could um, contain pe things like uh, people's other emails, their cell phone numbers, their addresses. This just needs to be loaded inside of the administrator account uh, for the uh, entire system. All right. The next one is messages. So when I pop over messages, we're going to go over the messages tab in another video. So I'll go ahead and link that here. But messages, this is a quick way with this one person to get in and see what messages. All you do is open it up and you can type in a message and leave them a message. Now when they reply, it'll show up right in here. And then we go over to calls. So these are all the missed calls with this person. So this is just with this one person um, between myself and the demo one account. And then voicemails. You can also see the voicemails from just this account. All right, inside the favorites tab, we do have a list of everybody. This is searchable up here by first name, last name, or extension. You can also search by anything inside of the directory. So if they have their emails listed, or if they have other telephone numbers listed, you can search by that as well. You can add contacts by clicking this and clicking add contact. If you add, when you open this, all it's going to do is open up your default contact uh, management system for your computer. So for example, I'm on a Mac, so it would open up my contacts app. If you are on a Windows machine, then it will more than likely open up Outlook if you have that installed or it'll open up the Windows contact program. All right, the button next to this is your sorting options. So you can sort by last name, first name, their availability, and last contact. So what this allows you to do is decide how you want your favorites to display to you. Last contact, that just keeps your most common contacts up at the top. So um, if you need to get back with somebody very quickly, that's the best one to do. Where it says show, you can actually hide different information. Um, so if I hide the phone numbers, that would um, hide that. These other ones, company names and departments, I don't have them in there, so it wouldn't do anything. But uh, if you do have those loaded, it will um, show or hide those based on whether they're checked or not. All right, with the list view option, you can select this and list view is what is defaulted. And you can see on here that this would probably maybe hold 10 users and then you'd have to start scrolling through them. So uh, if you have a high number of favorites or a lot of people that you wanna keep in your call groups, that can be kind of burdensome as you start adding people to your favorites. So what they've done is created this compact view where if I go in there and I select this, it actually makes this much smaller where there's going to be two next to each other, and you can see, I mean, this would probably hold a good uh, 90 to 100 phone numbers before um, you would have to scroll at all. So the one thing you do lose from this is that you do lose some of that information that was displaying before. So if you open this back up, you can see we've got the extension. Um, we do have the words as far as available. Um, what happens in the compact view is you still get 
the check marks that will let you know and when you hover over them it'll give you more information but uh, you do lose that um, the text notification of what's happening all right we're inside of groups and basically what we have here is a list and group of people that you can put together as an individual user so the groups are designed to be set up by each individual user by themselves um, there is actually currently no way to create a company profile and set this up so what groups means can change between users but this is really handy for people that need to transfer a lot of calls and or they need to basically um, monitor or know the status of multiple callers within an organization so when you open up groups right now I just have something called all contacts this is a group I created um, where I can open up and I can see a few things so with these groups what I can do is I can start a group chat if you're using the instant messaging um, so this is very similar to group chats and say your uh, phone or anything similar to that I can also schedule a meeting with the group so uh, all I do is click this and it'll actually in, uh, include everybody that's inside of that group and I can send a group voicemail so those times when maybe a voicemail is a little bit more appropriate than a email I can actually hit this button it would pick up my phone and I can record a voicemail and send it to the group without needing to call each individual person by themselves so to edit the group all I would do is go in here I would hit edit and I can add people as I would like um, I can either do it by if they were in my favorites so I can go back and select favorites and I could drag them in now demo 2 is already in there but um, let's remove demo 2 and I can drag demo 2 and put them in there I can also inside of here I can reorder um, the uh, order of the people inside of here and if I want to change the name I would just do it up here and so on and so forth so we'll do that let me go back into groups and basically now I have my group and uh, very similar to the favorites where I can go in and I can add the contacts but I can also add a group here so when I want to create a new group all I do is add new group and I could name it so I'll call it test and I will add um, and we will add the test or the demo account and now that is a second group so now you can see that it showed up there so I can create as many groups as I'd like and I can set them up however is useful for me so um, very common ones are things like sales or service or um, customer support or management and you can keep these individually um, set up and contacts can be part of more than one group so um, another thing is the option for compact view is available in here as well so I can select that and you can see that this becomes a lot more useful for people that take in and need to transfer or monitor um, multiple people on the phone so um, I can go in here and I can see hey, Josh is available demo one's available demo two's demo three is available but if any of those get off the phone it's very easy for me to see kind of at a glance who's available who's not and you can also sort by um, last name, first name, availability, and last contact. My order is what we did when we set up the group where I dragged and dropped it. Uh, and that is how you would change it. All right. And then we're going to get into the contacts preferences. So if I go in here, select preferences. Um, the one that I'm going to show you in regards to the contacts tab is right here where it says contacts outlook. So what we are worried about is down here where it says contacts and like I said I am on a Mac computer so I synchronize with the Mac contacts program. If I wanted to sync all of my contacts all I would need to do is select this and it will automatically sync. Now this by default is selected so if you um, need to remove somebody or you don't want all of your Outlook contacts uh, synchronized with the Mitel Connect software you need to uncheck that and then you need to select this red box that says remove synced contacts you can also choose to only sync certain folders within your outlook so um, or mac contacts in this context uh, if you want to do that all you need to do is make sure that this is selected and then you can go ahead and remove the ones that are not applicable to you uh, and make sure the one that you want to sync is selected 
So we would do that and then we would just hit save. So I don't want mine synced though, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And if you do have Exchange set up and synchronized, you can also set up where the Exchange public contacts folders are searchable inside of your software. So if you want that turned on and it is available in your organization, all you need to do is select that and it will show up inside of your searchable contacts list. All right, everybody, that is the contacts tab. So if you do have any other questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. We do monitor these and we'll respond as quickly as we can. If you are interested in learning more about the Mitel system, please visit us either at bluefoxgroup.com or subscribe to this channel. We continuously make videos that are geared towards training and learning how to use your phone systems and IT systems for the betterment of your business. So until next time, I appreciate your time and have a great day.